shit was from Lolo Ferry people in mythology. No, that is an ecological system that the African broke down. It's inside of your goddamn body, and it's all in the melanin. But it, when you get to the actual dream time, you get to the actual dream time, then you can tap into some of this shit, and it heals your ass. You see what I'm saying? As well as insects, and we talked about the last time, in a deep part of the lust thing, you bring up these shits. You see, uh, you bring up you bring up these shits and all. You see, there's a there is a, a connection with the brothers being locked up in prison and the five yard tumors in black women. Cause the black hole ain't meeting the black hole. So that means the healing access, the alchemical healing access spec is not working because there's things in the latent root chakra called the A chakra that's so far deep and the only way it's pulled up is through lust and sex. We talked about that the last time. But also there's latent parts in the sleep aspect. So all this is going on also in this particular part with the sleep deprivation going down Going back to this, with the parallel universe, this is universe A. This is, uni this is universe A. We trying to get the universe B. Universe B is separated by the black hole. The black hole, the one that is dealing with this, is in Sagittarius. Also, the black hole is in the black woman. Your black hole, you know what I'm talking about. The vesica. You see the vesica? The eye, the way they say the vesica, which is the vagina. You see what I'm saying? Now, going back, y'all bear with me now, hold on. Because it all adds up. Now. It all adds up. This, this, uh, this is Crawley book, only book, Alice Crawley Atlantis, but this is the only book that you can't get. But it, because Alice Crawley explained in here what Atlantis was. The word, the African root Atlas is an offshoot of the range, was the true Atlas supported by the ancient world, by the moral and magical strength, and hence the name Fable Globe Bearer. The root is Lemurian Tala, a Talas, which means black, and which will appear in due course. The A is the feminine pretense that derived from the shape of the mouth. Well, there's your vesica also. And uttering the sound, the black woman is therefore the true translation to the word Atlantis. Now it's a crown. This is crown. This is why this shit. This is why this. This is the only one that ain't even print. It's about like that Rudolph Steiner book. The one where they got the Yakum story, which is set up uh, the, the island of Dr. Moreau with H.G. Wells. His book, The Atlantis and Lemuria, uh, Rudolph Steiner, is the only one you can't get. You can get it from health research, but you can't get it. But all the rest of his books are on the shelf. But this is the only Alice Crowley book, one of the few ones that you can't get, because he tell you at the beginning of the shit, the word Atlantis means black woman. And if you really want to break that down, Atlantis is twitch your legs. The word twix, ain't no candy bar, it's twix your legs. <laughs> Between your legs, twix your legs. The key here is, Dr. Ben said, that heaven is, is in between the legs of the black woman. You see, but the original, in the temple of Dendera, the, the original, you see the, the hippopotamus goddess Apit, and then you see this thigh. And they say, we came from the thigh. That's what the Egyptians say, the thigh. The cootie cat, or whatever you want to call the shit. <laughs> Plain old pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Holy of holy. holy, of holy. <laughs> and a nigga done got holy and said the word holy when he's been up in that shit the right way. <laughs> now, there was one story about a brother. He was in there, he was getting some. And the he was in there and his friends came and they had a feather tickling him on the leg while he was getting some. But that brother was doing his leg like this. He was not trying to get him off it, though. He was like, fuck that. I ain't getting him off this shit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, 
The black hole is also the black woman. And remember they're talking about, I've been telling you that they've been trying to pair the black woman up with the white man? Yes. Mm. And remember now, you can't get these latent forces by fucking with Beaver Cleaver. And the brother can't get these latent forces by fucking with Miss Ann. You know what I'm saying? But they even got a new, a new uh, Bell Sock commercial where the little white boy, they're playing goddamn the atomic dog. He said, why must I chase the cat? Right. There's a white boy on the damn couch with a black girl. Right. He talking about some nice cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And she can't hear him because the music's so loud and he rings the phone and she pull out her cell phone. He say nice cheese and she go over and she give it a little white boy. The white boy slide over, but they got the atomic dog shit. Why must I be like that? Why must I chase the cat? Right. So they're still trying to make it feasible so the sister can go and goddamn Beaver Cleaver. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Miss Ann. Well, you know the goddamn Miss Ann and won that, that game. Yeah. I will say, in 2000, 2001, that the black man's greatest contribution is he loved that goddamn white woman. That's the greatest contribution of the black man in the motherfucking 20th century is he loved that goddamn white woman. Let's not be funny with this mess. So Miss Ann got him. You see what I'm saying? But the key here is... The parallel universe is there's a black hole, but they got the Sagittarius and, the, and, and remember now, they got a hierarchy telling them, you better shut shit down because we ride on the verge of some shit. So they get the Sagittarius where the black hole is and they say what? History on hold. You've been hearing this all during the election. History on hold. Now, let's go on. The Book of the Law, which was given by Awas, a, a, a tall black man in his 30s with the face of an African king or a savage king, was Awas that gave the Book of the Law to Alistair Crowley in 1904. In, 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 in 1904. The name of the book of law is called Liber Al Legis. The book of the law, Liber Al Legis. Al Gore Lieberman. You put it together, you get book of the law. And now you know, motherfucker might fuck around and win based on yesterday. Oh, this shit is a ritual. Al Gore, Joseph Lieberman, Liber Al, which is the book of the law. What we're talking about here is a mass ritual going on. Okay, let's roll. Y'all all right? Yeah. Because it's shit now. But see, now, it comes a time where we got to take the shit off of the, boat, the drawing board and we got to go to reality. So y'all stick with me on this one. Because it was, huh? I said break the codes, Break the codes on this one. You stick with me on this one. Because for eight years I ain't heard nothing from them. And these motherfuckers showed up on my goddamn birthday to kill a nigga. Let's get with that in a few minutes. So we're talking about some stuff that's going down. And, you know, just hold on one minute and let's deal with some stuff. Okay. All right. Um, now, as Deborah Blair said, that they're stopping because they don't want the reptilians to come in. Well, then again, I explained that we are the reptilians. It just means Kundalini race are the dragon, the Kundalini race, are uh, the people who have access to the third eye. The real power. You see what I'm saying? Um, the real power that they talked about. Now, so, now going on, uh, it's, um, let me get this particular thing here. It's interesting because in this book, Lost Light, he talks about <coughs> the trial in a mentor. So the great trial or the great judgment that you hear in the Bible and all that type of stuff. If you trace it back to Kemet, it's the great trial of Maya. The great trial of Maya. Now, first of all, what they're also saying here that it can very well be because even your boy in his uh, book is Stephen Hawkins and they got it, the astro Physicists, or whatever they call it. 
said that there's the end of the universe, and the end of the universe is a small primordial, primordial point. That's the same thing the Egyptians said. They call it the Hadid point. But based on this, because Atlantis is also Eden, they talk about return to Eden. The aboriginals talk about a return to dream time. What they understand and what they know, because I gave you the, the prophecy the last time with the white people say that the Africans in America, the Africans in America, Africans in America are the heirs to the earth. Remember I talked about that the last time. What I'm saying here is, that when they say there's an end to the universe and it's one small invisible seed, that there could be one black woman here in America that holds the entire universe in between her legs. That's how the shit go. So that's they can kill off all the motherfuckers they want. They can't pick the right one. That's what the messianic thing, it could be one sister. That's what this shit is talking about. It's going back to one black woman. Well, science tell you they trace shit, one shit back to one, one black woman. Yeah. Lucy. Lucy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. In damn equatorial Africa, uh, Kilimanjaro, you see what I'm saying? Lake Victoria, what's what's say, Lake Nianza, New Wands, and they trace the shit back to that particular part at the beginning of the Nile where the god Hopi dwells. Yes. But they trace it back. So we're talking about this very well. It could be one single black woman in America. 